Hi, this is Corey. I'm going to explain how I talk to doctors. I'll first give you what I say and then I'll break it down for you. So what I say is I have myalgic encephalomyelitis. It is a post-viral illness like long COVID that has been poorly understood and misdiagnosed for decades. They used to think it was psychological, but thanks to um, research in places like Stanford, Harvard, and Columbia University, we now know it is a biological illness. This has been verified and the CDC um, has made new guidelines for it, but it's only been six years or so. So most doctors aren't familiar with it, or if they are familiar with it, they learned the old version, which was incorrect. So now there are treatments. I am on four of them. I am on medical treatments that have been researched. And then I can start talking to them about what my current problem is. Um, or I can describe the symptoms or whatever. But that's my first thing that I say. So the first thing, don't say chronic fatigue syndrome, don't say CFS, don't say ME, don't say chronic fatigue. Say myalgic encephalomyelitis. It's hard to say, especially if you're brain fogged, but that's what you need to say. Um, then say post-viral illness. This is a hot new buzzword. Doctors are starting to become aware of this thanks to long COVID. Um, it's becoming recognized as a real thing. Doctors may not have heard of myalgic encephalomyelitis, but they have heard of post-viral illness. So say that. Third thing, it has been poorly understood and misdiagnosed. Make sure you say that. And people thought it was psychosomatic. But now we have new evidence from places like Stanford, Harvard, and Columbia University. Those are all places with ME research and they're all highly respected institutions. So when you say that, their ears perk up, it's an authority they recognize and they can look up the Stanford ME CFS clinic um, if they choose to. Then you say, and the CDC, in recent years has recognized and changed the guidelines. The CDC, again, a high authority on, on everything medical um, that they should recognize and respect. So they can look up and you can invite them to look up the CDC website on MECFS and they will get recent up-to-date information that acknowledges it is a biological and not psychological illness. 